What's up, man? It's your big brother, Tran, again, with another exclusive video. Spirituality is not a trend, and I'm going to tell you why in this video. Just stay tuned, okay? But first and foremost, I want to go ahead and announce to you again, I will not be doing public live chats anymore for, like, just everybody, all right? Uh, and the reason why is because I got the people that never really speak up and say nothing when they get a chance to get on live and where they know everybody is looking, you know, they want some attention by saying negative, nasty things to other people, uh, to me, stuff like that. And that's just what they want. They want attention. And so with that being said, if you really proud my channel, if you don't take this channel for granted and you really want to be tuned in to the live streams that I do, all you got to do is go to the bottom of this video beside the subscribe button, just click join and pick a pick a tier and then you will be having access to all the live streams. OK, that way we keep the real from the fake out. OK, so that's that. But anyway, let's talk to, about this topic, man. Spirituality is not a trend. All right. I'm about to tell you something I've been seeing. I know a lot of y'all been saying it, too. It's going around. It's spreading like a wildfire. All right. You got a lot of people nowadays that call themselves spiritual they call themselves all kind of different names like it like they wear it like a t-shirt like with like with miles davis on it you know what i'm saying like they like people want to be known as somebody spiritual but chances are they really probably not even spiritual they haven't really done the inner work one thing you got to understand about spirituality um spirituality is not even religion okay it's, it's really nothing to do with religion either you know it's a lot of people that claim to be religious and they go to church every Sunday, but they're not even spiritual. You see what I'm saying? It's 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 different. All right. When you own when you a spiritual being, you a son of a God. You really a child of the most high God. And see, the thing is, you know, you got all these people around here, they acting like they spiritual. They going to buy a million crystals, they buying all these incense, they buy, you know, they buy all these necklaces. You probably see people wearing the evil eye and all these necklaces with uh uh, crystals and stuff in them and stuff like that. None of that stuff means nothing, man. None of that stuff means nothing. And it'd be crazy because these so-called people who on the internet and that you see in public, they claim to be Christ, uh, not Christians, but they claim to be spiritual. They to be the most harshest, meanest, cruelest, negative people ever. And you'd be like, yo, what's up with the, I thought you was a positive being. You know what I mean? And that, the reason why this is like this is because people are thinking spirituality is a trend. Like you can just wear it. And if you represent it, then you are a part of the group of spiritual people. It don't work like that. Don't work like that. If you were a spiritual person, you don't really got to tell nobody that you're spiritual. All right. That's something that you have acquired to be on your journey. You know what I mean? Being a spiritual person means you have literally transformed the way you think. You know what I mean? You've literally transformed your toxic thinking into positive thinking. You've literally changed the way you react to people, even though they react to you negative. You know what I'm saying? Like real spiritual people, real spiritual people, when somebody reacts to them negative, okay, it's very seldom. I'm not trying to say spiritual, real spiritual people are perfect, but it's very seldom that you will have a real spiritual person to react negative towards somebody that acts negative towards them. Right. Also, a spiritual person is not somebody who looks down on somebody else like I'm going to pray for you because I know you need help. God told me you need help. Like they don't do that. That's not spirituality, man. That's like I said, that's just thinking you're holy in the Tao, thinking that you're closer to the source than the next man. And that's what a lot of people are doing. You know, a lot of people think that this whole journey with God is like some type of race to the finish line. You know, it's like if if I do more self-healing work behind closed doors, then I'm better than everybody outside of me. You know, it, it, it's gotten so bad that some people claim to be spiritual when they walk outside the doors of their house, you know, where they stay at. They like automatically project everybody to be against them, like automatically without having any cause, any reasons or anything. That's how spiritual people are becoming nowadays because they are wearing it like a trend. They wearing it like it's just something that is it's cute. You know, it's 
it's, it looks good. I, it, it's good to say I am a healer. You know, it's good to say I am a, a sage. It's good to say I am a divine feminine. You know, it, it, it sounds good to say that, you know, I am a prophetess. Like, it, it, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's wearing it like it's, it's just this hottest thing and you can just buy it off the shelves and I got it. You know what I'm saying? That's not spirituality, yo. That's not spirituality. You know, when you're a real spiritual person, man, you don't need nobody. You don't need nobody's recognition in order to vouch for who you are as an individual. You don't you don't need people to, to tell you that you are great. You don't need to feel good uh, you know, around other people or to per make other people perceive you as somebody that is like doing great in life. Like it, it's just a natural thing that just it shows based on the way your energy is. It just shows through your energy. It shows through your actions. It shows through your behavior. It shows through your conversation. It shows through your representation. It shows through your giving. You know what I mean? Um, you know, a, a real spiritual person is a person that's joyful. You know, they are always delightful. They are pure hearted people, you know, and they don't really have any reason to do anybody wrong. They don't they don't scam, you know, they don't have to step on anybody's toes. They don't have to make anybody feel bad in the room, you know, because they feel like they're better than them. They don't they don't have to do anything outside of their own character to make their character amplify above everybody else's. Real spiritual people don't have to do that. You know, but like I said, you have so nowadays you have so many spiritual people out here who claim to be I don't know what you want to call it. It got all kind of names out here. God, God is yeah, son of son of him. I don't see it at all. I, I've seen so many different names that people call themselves to try to give off some type of impression that they know what God is saying to them. Like, you know what I mean? You don't have to do that. Like if you got a connection with God, you just be yourself. You just your own name is who you are. It's just your name. You know what I'm saying? And so I just don't, I'm just making this message so y'all don't fall into this, this, this trend that's going on out here where everybody's just acting. You know what I mean? You got people out here burning sage and stuff and, 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 and trying to cleanse their home and stuff when they the one that's the problem. You know, they probably might not even have nobody even come visit their home, but they like, I got to burn some sage in here. It's an evil spirit in here. No, you, you the evil person. You know what I'm saying? People reading tarot cards and claiming to know what God is saying. Like, no. You know what I mean? No. Like, either you are already a divine, genuinely divine person sent by God because you don't have to mention it and people just recognize it. Or you are out here trying to say that you're this and you're that and you're, you're this and you're that. Like, you, you ain't got to do that. You know, if you're a real spiritual person, you don't, you don't got to... You don't got a name drop. You don't got to tell people who you know and where you done been at and how many times you've meditated and stuff like that. And if you don't got to tell people that, I mean, it, it'll be seen through your, through your, through your, your fruits of your label. Like people can look at your attitude. People can look at your life. You know what I mean? They can look at where you've come versus where you used to be five years ago and it'd be able to determine like, wow, well, this person must be doing something good. You know what I mean? That's how you know that God is with you. That's how you know you blessed. Like if, if 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 somebody can look at your life, if somebody can look at your life and they can see blessings on in your life, like you got blessings, you getting blessed. All right. Because every good thing comes from above. Every good thing comes from above. God is the one who gives success. God is the one who gives wealth. It's not man. Man doesn't make that happen. God, God is the one who elevates people to higher places. Okay. So you can't necessarily get mad at people that's at higher positions than you because God elevated them to that level. If it wasn't for God, they wouldn't be at that level. All right. But again, you got spiritual people out here who, once again, they claim to be spiritual and even they look down on their the people that's higher than them. Even they look down on somebody that's doing good and getting blessings and say, oh, my God, that's not of the God. That's not of God, because I can see straight through it. You're, you're, you're having it's like it's just it's madness, man. You know what I mean? And it's sad to see spirituality, you know, going around like a trend, like like everybody can just have it. All you think you got to do is just wear a crystal bracelet. Then everybody will think good of you. Everybody will think you're esoteric or, you know, everybody will think you're holistic or everybody will think you're a healer because you got on chakra bracelets and stuff like that. No, that, that don't mean nothing. You know, 
I, I mean, I don't got to even wear, I don't have to have citrine in my, my necklace to go outside and, and people will be naturally attracted to me because they feel my energy. They feel good intentions. They don't feel like, like I'm a threat. They don't feel like I'm judging them. You know what I mean? I'm able to have an open conversation with a complete stranger. Like I was having a complete stranger conversation yesterday with this guy who came up to me and just like, hey, how you doing? And he had on the business suit and everything. I was, I didn't say anything to him. He came up to me, he started talking, and all to find out, this guy is a dentist. You know, he's a doctor, he's a dentist. And we started talking about teeth and everything and all these interesting conversations. The point that I'm making is you don't have to, you don't have to be something that you're not in order to make people be attracted to you, in order to make people to like you. You don't have to act like, you know what I mean, like you're just like this religious person big time religious person who's so connected to God. You don't have to go around quoting scriptures. You don't have to comment scriptures on people's stuff and say the Lord said. You don't have to do all that if you're already a spiritual person internally. You know what I mean? Because the, the spirit in you, it'll speak for itself. You know, and that's the thing. That's that's the reason why you have a lot of people who don't really connect with the church and stuff like that because they are afraid of being judged because they know how most Christians are. Most Christians can be quite judgmental. And that's why nobody really wants to deal with a lot of Christian people is because they know that they are trying to play a role of God. You see what I'm saying? But you don't have to play God's role. You don't have to do God's job. You be yourself and, you know, the, the, every, everything that you do, you know, it will speak for itself. People will be able to look at what your life is like. They'll see what you're, they'll see what you're doing. And then they'll be able to determine whether or not you're doing good by God or not. If people just look at, just look at somebody's life. All right. Just, just have a conversation with somebody. And once they get to talk and they're telling you about their life and y'all don't talk 10 for 15 minutes already, man, you'll be able to determine if God's with that person or not. You'll be able to tell. You'll be able to tell if they if they need help, if they in trouble, and you'll be able to tell if you want to be their friend or not. You'll be able to tell all that. All you gotta do is just sit there and just listen to what the person is saying. And it'll, if it make you feel good, you're great. Especially if your intentions are pure towards the person. If you got a pure intentions, you don't need nothing from that person, and you're perceiving that that person is telling you things that are noble, that are of joy, that are of peace. You'll be able to determine if that's a good person or not. I mean, it's obvious. But see, like I said, it ain't always common with a lot of people because so, a lot of people don't have the gift of discernment. They can't really see th through smoke screens. They can't see through deceptions. You know what I mean? But I just wanted to get on here to let y'all know, man, that spirituality is not a trend. It's not something that you just wear and just call yourself spiritual. You got to really do the inner work. Like you really have to change yourself from being a toxic person. You really have to change yourself from thinking negative about other people. You know what I mean? You have to have some type of forgiveness in your heart. You have to be, humble yourself and be humiliated about even your own self because we are not perfect. You know what I mean? The only person that was perfect was Jesus and he died for our sins. Okay? So, you know, if you can't repent and, and come to the agreement with yourself and say, you know what? I have a problem, man. I need to change myself then you're going you're gonna to always have the problem. The problem is never going to go away because you have too much ego. You have too much pride. You're always the one pointing fingers at everybody else is the fault. But really, it starts within you. You know, me being here, I'm here because I did that years ago. I said, I'm a problem. Still to this day, I'm not perfect. And But I guess, but I bet you I will acknowledge my issues though. I acknowledge my issues. I still read my word. I still read books to educate myself. I'm still grounded. You know, and I'm still always developing. And see, I can come up here and say that, <clears throat> you know, and feel cool about it. But you got a lot of people out here, they will never tell you that, you know, and you know, but they'll tell you everything about yourself that's wrong. And those are the people that I'm pointing out. They are not spiritual. They just using it because it's like the hottest things popping right now. It's a trend. It's, it looks good. Okay. But, you know, if, if you're dealing with people who don't never say that they have an issue with anything or you're dealing with people who are always acting like they know everything and like they're so perfect and you're the wrong one, that person is not the right one for you. OK, that's not a spiritual person. That's a want to be spiritual person. You get what I'm saying? So this message is for everybody out there, man, the chosen ones. Just let y'all know, man, it's not a trend. This is not something you just wear. 
okay? This is a lifelong process to where you're constantly, you're, you're constantly reconfiguring yourself all the time to be the best version that you can possibly be. So that way you won't say it's my fault. That way you won't say it's him, his fault. That way you won't say, oh, it's my mom's fault. You won't say it's the, it's the job's fault. You will point the fingers back at you and you'll take responsibility for your own actions and your own life. And that's how you begin to change your life from the inside out, not the outside in. Okay, that's how you change your life. You change your life from the inside out. If you don't change, nothing else will change. Okay, that's how you begin to change your life is when you change the way you think, change the way you feel. Change what you believe on the inside. Once you change that, everything out here will change. Your life will begin to do a 360. Why? Because you change the way you think. All right? So spirituality is not a trend, man. All right? And again, it's not the same thing as religion either. It's not the same thing as religion. So speak of let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below if this video resonated with you. All right? It's your big bro trend. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.